Uh, let's go back to the beginning with the school shit. Uh, what elementary did you go to? Uh, I went to uh, I went to create a learning center like over there in the forties and shit, like in the thirties and shit, or like King and Arlington. I went to I went to elementary over there. I went to. Yep, that's what I went. Yep, I went there all five, all five grades. For first to five grade, and then middle school, I started going to Eaglewood, uh, Warren Lane and shit. I went to Audubon over there too. I went to like every school on King, no cow. I went to every school on King and every school in Eaglewood. I just chose this side. I didn't, I didn't really like that area like that. So when did the, I'm, I'm assuming in middle school is when you started getting acquainted with the hood? Hell no, like high school, I ain't go cap. Niggas be saying middle school and shit. I was a kid. I was a kid, bro. Yeah. Middle school, I was a regular kid. I was normal, regular kid, chilling, just doing normal shit, playing a game, going home. High school, that's when I started joining up. That's why I'm still a joint now, because I didn't start too early. So uh, 9th, 10th, 11th grade? Mm-hmm. Well, yep. Know, uh, a lot of people don't really know this. I don't know if you know this, but Nipsey didn't get put on until he was 18. Ain't nothing wrong with it, yeah. because he a joint. You know, but it's not about where you get put on, it's a, or it's not about where you do something. It's about how efficient you are in the years. You know, it's like basketball. You could be a rookie and be the nigga. It don't matter where you do it. It's about how you do it and, and what you do. You how feel do you me? feel about some of these dudes that be in their twenties though, and they, and they, they get put the, off from the IE somewhere, and they come to the set and want to get put on at like 23, 24? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know that shit. I mean. Like I said, everybody starts somewhere, you feel me? So everybody start everybody gotta start somewhere, but I mean, I don't really feel it like that, but if you get if if you doing you active and you doing everything you're supposed to do, a nigga can't really say nothing too much. Feel me? Efficiency and longevity. That's what it's about. Longevity and efficiency. You get money for a year and then be broke for the next seven years, you ain't no get money, nigga. You would just pass that one year. You feel me? Efficiency and longevity. Like this right here, but I'm talking about it used to be like 50 people right here. No cap, it used to be like 50 hobies right here. They get like high school. I didn't really, I didn't really like. I used to get kicked out that motherfucker. I used to go right here to Eagle High, right here down the street. Them niggas didn't like me like that. The, the teachers and shit, they used to fuck with me and shit. Cause I was too smart for that shit. I feel like school is a is a is a regular person thing. Like they don't teach you how to be great at school. You get what I'm saying? They just teach you how to be a worker. I'm a boss. Feel me? School, but stay in school. Stay in school. But it's about what you do with it. You get what I'm saying? But in school, I didn't really like that shit. It was cool. I was there, you know, I was I was talking to people and shit, doing my work sometimes, but I ditch, go smoke, chill with the homies right here. Regular. After after school is my thing. After school. We used to be right here after school just baking it, smoking, chilling, parades right here, homegirls, homies, squabbles right here in the uh in the parking lot right here, squabbles right here. Regular, I don't know, school was fun. When you was in high school and during your years, was the, the Mexican black tension still still a thing? Yeah, like that was like middle school though. I'm 26, so that was like middle school era. Hold on. Yeah, that was like, that was like middle school era. Like, I'm not really with that type of shit. My last name Lopez, if you didn't know. So you feel me? I, I, I'm, I got a little bit of both in me. So, you know, I fuck with my Ross so you feel me? I'm in the hood. I fuck with my Thursday niggas and all that. So you feel me? Uh, uh, so, so you cool with the I-13s? Yeah, on the set. They're my niggas. I, 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 I got a couple people from there on the hood. I was in the pill. I went to school with them, all that. What about the, uh, the 18s over here on 106? I don't really know them like that, but last time I seen them, they put up on me. They was like six thick. I was with a little Mexican bitch. She was bad too. They put. I had red pants, so I was. I was. Nigga, they put up on me. They looking at me. They like that's frosty. I was just looking like they like man. Let's get a picture, fool. I on the set. Check it out. Damn homie, I took the picture with him and all that. So shit. I don't know. I ain't really tripping on them niggas. Feel me? I know in the 90s, uh, the Mexicans and blacks used to fight at all the high schools out here in Inglewood. Yeah. Uh, de Mayo or Black History Month. That shit over with, bro. That shit over with, nigga, at my shows. It's, it, be a, it be more Mexicans than blacks there. Uh, we, nigga, I fuck with them. Nigga, me, nigga, Mexicans, them niggas is loyal. Them niggas, them niggas is about they bread, nigga. You feel me? So 
All that black and Mexican, that shit is over with, bro. We all together, nigga, as one. We against the police, feel me? Unless they, unless they helping and serving the community and doing what they supposed to do then, you feel me, then we ain't against them. Okay, I want to talk about the police because I remember in the early 2000s, the police in Inglewood was knocking brothers down. And I don't think any Inglewood PD ever got charged for, for killing some of these unarmed brothers. This is what I would say about the police, because I, it's good police and it's bad police. You feel me? You can't just bash all of them because if they wasn't here, then, then it'd be a purge, you feel me? I'll be in my house with rocket launchers right now, waiting for you niggas, you feel me? But, all right, auntie, y'all already know. Hey, yeah, my good folks over there, you feel me? They just out here just showing they for holiday spirit, you feel me? My movie, hey, man, this shit is crazy, bro. My life is crazy, you know that? This shit is burnt out. Inglewood didn't change a lot, though. But yeah, it's good police and it's bad police, bro. Don't be the bad one, that's it. That's all I'm saying. Feel me? Do your job. Go home to your family. Don't do no extras. Some police, they be off duty, still trying to be on duty. Hey, Bunchy B told me a ranking story the other day on the podcast. Is this an officer that you you familiar with, Officer Rankin? I know, blood. Hell yeah. Think I know? I'm ready for right here. <laughs> Hell yeah, I know that nigga. He cool. He all right. He ain't tripping no more. What? Uh, I thought he was like... Uh, I, I, nah, I, I don't really bash nobody like that on camera, fool, because I did, I get up with niggas in person for real. I know these niggas for real, so it ain't no point in bashing them on camera. I know these niggas, like, for real, for real. I knew Rankins when I was 13. He didn't know me like that good, but he started knowing me a little bit, but shit, we, they ain't tripping on us, we ain't tripping on them. I'm just chillaxing. I got my store right here. It's closed down now, but I have my store right here. We just chilling. We good vibes, bro. You see, we ain't messing nobody yet. We right here doing our own thing, minding our business. People laughing, they love us. People love us out here, for real. The community, they really love us out here. We just like, young, you feel me, the young kids, they know we just bad as fuck. That's all.